Hey, what's going on everybody? We are here at Memorial Park Cemetery in Cook County, Illinois, just outside of Chicago. And we're here to visit the grave and pay respects to two people this time. We're just gonna kind of run by, we're gonna go visit the grave of Jerry Springer while we're here because it's Jerry Springer, right? And the main reason we're here is to visit the grave of Robert Reed. Uh, if you don't know that name, that's fine, because I didn't either until I looked it up and then saw that was uh, Mike Brady. He was the dad on the Brady Bunch. And so I thought, hey, I mean, if we're here to see, I saw where Jerry Springer was here and then I saw he was buried here. So I was like, well, that would make a good two-part video. So that's what we'll do. We'll run by, we'll talk about Mike's life. He's the main focus on the video. Then towards the end, we'll go by and see Jerry Springer. Then we'll go see Mike's grave at the end. All right. So with all that being said, if this is your first time here, welcome. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, you know, doing all those things. And if this isn't your first time here, welcome back. I hope you enjoy the video as well. Shouts out to the members. Oh, since we're talking about Brady Bunch, what was your favorite episode of the Brady Bunch when you watched it maybe as a kid or reruns or however you consumed it? And uh, Jerry Springer, like, come on, there's gotta be an episode like there's so many different, uh, they were all wild, but th th there's gotta be some favorites out there. So put those down in the comments. I'd love to hear or read, I should say, I'm not gonna hear them, but I would love to read them, right? So yeah, let's get to going and uh, let's do it. Reed was born in the Northern Chicago suburb of Highland Park, and he spent his early childhood years in Nova Soda, Texas and Shawnee, Oklahoma, attending Woodrow Wilson grade school before the family moved to Muskogee, Oklahoma. In his youth, Reed joined the 4-H Ag Club and showed calves, but was more interested in acting and music. While attending Central High School in Muskogee, he participated in both of those activities. Reed also took to the stage, where he performed and sang. He also worked as a radio announcer at a local radio station and wrote and produced radio dramas. He graduated from Muskogee Central in 1950 and enrolled at Northwestern to study drama. He performed in more than eight plays in college, all with leading roles. He later studied for one term at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in London, and he joined the off-Broadway theater group, the Shakespeare Rites, and played Romeo in Romeo and Juliet, and he had a lead role in A Midsummer Night's Dream. Reed later moved to Los Angeles in the late 50s to further pursue his acting career and he made his first guest starring appearance in an episode of Father Knows Best in 1959. This led to guest roles on Men Into Space and Lawman, as well as his first credited film appearance in Bloodlust. In 61, he landed his first television starring role in The Defenders, alongside fellow theater performer E.G. Marshall, with the two playing a father and son team of defense attorneys. The Defenders was a hit with audiences and it earned a total of 22 Primetime Emmy Award nominations. E.G. Marshall won two Emmys for his performance, while the show won twice for Outstanding Drama Series. Ratings for the series were high in its first three seasons, but when CBS moved the series from Saturday nights to Thursday nights, it was canceled by CBS in 1965. While appearing on The Defenders in 1964, Reed made his Broadway stage debut as Paul Bratter in Neil Simon's Barefoot in the Park, replacing Robert Redford. Appearing in Barefoot in the Park led to two new contracts at Paramount and ABC, both in 68. When Paramount had decided to turn the television version of Barefoot in the Park into a predominantly African-American show, they planned for Reed to star in something else. That new series was entitled The Brady Bunch, and featured a widowed man with three boys marrying a widowed woman with three girls. The series creator, Sherwood Schwartz, said he was inspired to create the series after reading a news item in the Los Angeles Times stating that more than 29% of all marriages including, included a child or children from a previous marriage. From the very beginning of the sitcom's debut in September of 69, Reed was unhappy with his role as Mike Brady. He felt that acting in the often silly program was beneath his training as a serious Shakespearean actor. Producers and directors found Reed difficult to work with on both on and off the set. However, all of the cast got along well with him 
In his efforts to bring more realism to the sitcom, Reed often locked horns with the program's creator, Schwartz. Reed's final appearance in the series was in the penultimate episode, The Hustler. His final line in that episode was, Now I can get my car in the garage. After the Brady Bunch series ended in 74, Reed acted on stage and made guest star appearances on other television series and television movies, including Pray for the Wildcats and SST Death Fight. Despite the, the, his lack of love for the Brady Bunch and the character Mike Brady, Reed continued to appear in Brady Bunch spinoffs and sequels for the remainder of his career. In 76, Reed inspired the role of Mike Brady in the variety show The Brady Bunch Hour a role he openly embraced because it afforded him the opportunity to sing and dance. He would later appear in the television film The Brady Girls Get Married and the television film A Very Brady Christmas. And in 1990, he reprised the role of Mike Brady for one final time in the drama series The Brady's. He made his last on-screen appearance in April of 92 in an episode of Jake and the Fat Man. And before we get over there, how could we not? Come visit Jerry Springer. Oh, Gerald Norman. Got a nice little gate to go with it. See so, ya, yeah, Jerry Springer in the same cemetery. That's nice. Got both of those checked off the list. So I tell you what, let's go visit the grave and pay our respects and we'll finish this video up. All right, leaving the grave of Jerry Springer. Now we're here to visit the grave of the, the man of the video, right? Jerry just so happened to be in the cemetery. So he gets, he gets in on this also. So November of 1991, Reed was diagnosed with colon lymphoma, a rare form of colorectal cancer. He passed away on May 12th of 1992 at Huntington Memorial Hospital in Pasadena. Reed's death was solely attributed to cancer, but details that were written on his death certificate were later made public, revealing that Reed was also HIV positive. While Reed did not have AIDS at the time of his death, his doctor listed the HIV positive status as one of the significant conditions that contributed to his death. Good night, sweet prince. Some quarters. It's not often we get to come to two, a cemetery and have two well-known actors like buried so close to each other. So that was nice to check both of those off the list. Normally I don't do two in one video, but I was like, eh, why not? We're here, it's in Chicago and it's, it's a long ways back. So might as well go ahead and get both of them done while I'm here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, shouts out to the members, thank you guys so much. Uh, let's see, got maybe one or two more coming and then that'll be it from the trip. But just thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it and you know what? You never know what you'll find on the back roads. I'll see you guys next time.